welcome to episode five, where we're taking this 1980 Honda CB650 and turning it into a full custom bobber. And when it's all done, we're giving it away to somebody. So if you want to qualify to win this bike, just go to patreon.com forward slash motopilot. For as little as $1 a video, you can qualify to win the bike. And the winner of the bike also gets a full set of speed and strength riding gear. So today didn't go quite as planned. My initial plan for today was to take the rolling chassis into the metal fab shop and get the rear end all modified. But next thing I know, my buddy who owns the shop took off to Mammoth to go snowboarding. So I had to switch gears real fast and figure out what else could I do today. And the only thing I could come up with is painting the carbs black. As you can see, the carbs are really gunky looking. You don't want to make a whole bike look good and then put on some dirty looking carbs. Normally I'd do the rebuild kit first, but I didn't plan on working on the carbs today and I don't have the rebuild kits yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean them up, take a look inside and then paint them and then uh, come back later and put in the rebuild kits. The tools I'm gonna use for today is of course some carb cleaner, I have a pair of rubber gloves, I have some safety goggles, and we're going to paint them using a satin black wheel paint. Tell you what, the gasoline coming out of this is not a pretty color, so even though the bike ran great when I test rode it, I definitely want to dig into these and see what's going on on the inside too. But as you can see, the carbs look really gunky and just dirty and grimy, and you know, if I put these carbs on this bike, it's just going to look terrible. Look at all that grime right in there. Also, these rubber boots here are really stiff they don't I mean they're rubber and they, they don't even move so I'm gonna replace these I'll take these off first dig into uh, all the float bowls here just take a look inside get everything cleaned up with some uh, carb cleaner and go at it one thing I bought today too that works really good I just bought this uh, big rubber tray do this work in keep everything uh, nice and clean Yeah, you can see there's some discoloration in there. The gasoline doesn't look very fresh, so uh, probably a good idea to do a rebuild on this thing and get in here and clean it all up. So we'll put the float bowls back on, we'll hit this thing with some carb cleaner, get it super clean, hit it with some little brushes, and then uh, mask off where we don't want paint to be, and then spray paint it. It's that simple. So I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes and then come back and hit it again. And then uh, I have these uh, little brushes here. One's metal, one's something else. Maybe I'll use these to kind of break up some of the heavy stuff. Really gunky right here in the middle. There's a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> a lot of nooks and crannies I'll never be able to get this brush into, so hopefully the carb cleaner does its trick. I'll also pull off these uh, rubber hoses before I paint it for sure. Get these out of here.
All right, so we got this thing all cleaned up. We got it all masked up. We have a place I don't want to get paint. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go put it in the sun for a while, let it warm up. It's winter here in Southern California, so it's a little chilly, but there is some sun shining today. So we'll let the metal get warmed up because it makes the paint stick better. And then what I'll do is I'll give it a light coat of black paint, then I'll come back, give it two heavier coats, and then we'll be done. All right, so the carbs turned out great. They're gonna match the freshly painted motor perfectly. They look like brand new, way better than they looked before. Some people may think you shouldn't paint your carburetors. I disagree. Hopefully when we come back for the next episode, we'll be taking the rolling chassis into the metal fab shop, get the rear end remodified. That's gonna be really cool. Don't forget, if you wanna be the envy of all your buddies and you wanna win this bike, go to patreon.com forward slash motopilot along with a full set of speed and strength gear. And this whole video series is sponsored by tucker.com where you can go and find everything you need for your bike. All right, I guess that's it. Sorry for kind of a short video. Sometimes that's just how it goes with these builds. But anyways, uh, we'll see you guys next episode.